Good morning, Central. Happy to be here with you this morning. Happy Friday. Hope you um, have already signed up if you're feeling able and uh, like it's a good uh, step for you. Hope you're signed up for um, the live service this weekend, the live worship service on Sunday morning. You can uh, always access the registration for the next Sunday at cccrockford.org slash register. That helps us, uh, registering helps us make sure that we keep crowds uh, under control and uh, under the limit uh, that we need to keep things at. I feel a little bit of optimism, I think. Um, it's been good to see uh, some of our numbers uh, regarding COVID go down and hospitals get a little less full. Um, Heidi and I, <coughs> excuse me, are doing okay. Uh, we are slowly getting better, but uh, honestly, I am surprised at um, what this virus has done to me and uh, just some of the lingering symptoms that keep going on. Heavens understand, I, I know it could have been much worse uh, but it's been dragging on and uh, still dealing with a couple of issues that we're trying to figure out. But we're going to be okay. Um, I know this was uh, a big week in the life of our country. I said a little bit about this in the uh, email uh, that I sent out uh, yesterday on Wednesday. Um, the inauguration happened and thankfully, prayerfully, uh, it happened without any kind of <coughs> excuse me incident. <laughs> Incidences. Uh, I know that there was a, a lot of concern about a group or somebody doing something stupid, and it seems like uh, that didn't happen, which is a really good thing. And I know that politics are a scary, dangerous thing to bring up uh, because we all have different opinions, and that is okay. There's room for uh, people in the God's kingdom to think different, uh, differently about politics and about government and in about our country. But one thing that we are absolutely universally, without exception, uh, called to do is to pray for the people that are, um, pray for our leaders. I shared this uh, verse I'm going to read with, um, out of First Timothy, I shared with my small group last night, and we just used it as a time to kind of uh, to guide our thoughts and our prayers about um about the next president that we have, our new president. And so I'd like to read it to you, and then I have a couple thoughts I want to share. This is from the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2. Uh, I'm going to read verse 1 through 4. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, interse intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness, this is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. Um, so the author of this book, Paul, is encouraging kind of his protege, his mentee, Timothy, uh, to pray for the people that are um, in authority over them. Uh, so in our case, that would be, you know, the president all the way down to uh, local leaders. It would involve church leaders. Uh, basically, anyone who is in leadership over us, we are encouraged to pray for that person um, because what we all want is to have peace. It says that um, uh, where it goes so that we may live peaceful and quiet lives, in, <coughs> excuse me, in all godliness and holiness. So we are praying for the success of our leaders so that we can have peaceful lives so that we don't live lives in turmoil. But that peace is not just so that we can all relax and have a good time. Verse 4 says that the peace um, is, he says, this is good and pleases God our Savior who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. So the peace is not just so we can relax. The peace is so that we have more and better opportunities to tell people about Jesus. So um, that is why, one of the reasons why we pray for our leaders. We pray for our president so that we can live in a peaceful country where we are free to tell people about Jesus and we can talk to them about what it means to uh, be a Christian. We pray for the city of Rockford and its leadership so that it can be a peaceful place to live so that we can have opportunities uh, to tell people about Jesus. I think that it's tempting to stop at that first part where we just pray for us to have peaceful lives and we forget that there's a reason why we're praying. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I know there's not much I can do about it right now. 
uh, so that we can live peaceful lives and tell people about Jesus and have opportunities to do that. So we are going to start with that right now. We are going to pray for um, our new leader, uh, pres President number 46, Joe Biden, and for all those in authority over us. And if you listen closely, I bet you can hear my dog snoring in the background. It's kind of hard to find a quiet place in my house, but I um, hope you'll join me in prayer. Thank you, Father, for um, uh, for this country that we live in. Thank you for the uh, system that has been set up um, where we get to enjoy peaceful lives. And we thank you for our next president. We ask that you would help him to lead well, that he would um, have a supernatural ability to um, unify a very polarized country. Father, we, we know that his success is our success, and that's what we ask for, so that we would live peaceful lives and have plenty of opportunity to tell people about your son, Jesus. We pray the same thing for um, our governor. We pray the same thing for <coughs> our mayor, for school board leaders, for um, all the people that you have placed in authority, Father, that you would help them to be good leaders and um, for them to lead us well. I also ask that you'd help us to be good followers. There's a real shortage of people who are willing to just follow and, and do the things that people um, ask us to do. We love you, Father. We thank you for being good to us. We pray in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, everybody, I'm looking forward to being with you here tomorrow um, for... Uh, good morning, Central, again. I will be uh, joining you at 8 o'clock. And then um, looking forward to those of you who I will see either online or in person uh, for our worship service this weekend. Don't forget the times are a little bit different than they used to be. First service is at 9 a.m., not 9.30. And uh, second service starts at 11. Uh, the 9 o'clock service will be streamed uh, live online. You can watch it as it happens. Um, or you can tune in later to our church's website and uh, watch a recording of it a little later in the day if that works best for you. Either way, online or in person, I'm looking forward to being with you this weekend. Uh, let me, I gotta show you this. This is pretty ridiculous. There's my dog. Somehow he snuggled himself under a blanket and he's <laughs> resting comfortably. Oh my word, this house is ridiculous. You guys have a good Friday. We'll see you tomorrow.